Hey everyone, so what I'm doing today is I'm doing some uh, appraisal. I gotta have quiet! So I'm doing some appraisal on some of my older Hot Wheels. Um, what to say that I'm doing. I got a lot of Hot Wheels. I got more than this. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to figure out the price of what these would go for. Um, because some of these could be worth a lot of money. Others could be worth nothing, sadly. But I'm trying to find some of these that could be worth some money. And then I'm going to try and get together those best ones and then I'm going to try and sell them. Now, if you, if, you tell if you see any of them that, you know, that to you look like they might be worth something... You know, because, like, I have this one. Can't find any info on it. Just, it doesn't exist. Uh, this one I haven't looked up, but I'm probably not going to find much. Yeah, some of these I know are probably not worth much at all. Uh, this one I couldn't find a single one on. I looked all over the place for that. Um, this one I couldn't find anything on. I was looking through all the, nine, the ones that came out in the 90s, because this one's from the 90s. I couldn't find a single one on that. This is an old cereal box uh, thing that came with the truck here. And I'm pretty sure that's worth something because uh, it's a cereal truck. And those little trucks like that, you know, the more exclusive the thing is, the crazier it is, like, something like that that exists, the more likely it's going to cost, it's going to be worth a little something. Now I've seen a couple of my cars be like $11 cars and stuff. Not a lot of them, but I, I found a couple of them that were worth that much. So, tell me what you think. Tell me if you have any ideas what you guys think. I'm going to take you into my area, my car sanctuary now. Where I pretty much have so many Hot Wheel cars, it's a nightmare to be anywhere else in the house. Now, note that these are still here after years of having them. You know, uh... Some of these were little, like, die-cast ones that I got out over the years. And some of those I know are worse. This little Jeep, right here, this little Jeepster, that's worth $11. I looked that up. It was exciting. And I have bins full of these things. So I have, like, probably over a thousand cars to go through. I have a, These are some of my more collectible cars. And the, these things exist all over the place. The place is overrun with them. Uh, it's bloody overrun. And it's about time that I got rid of them and got some more. Well, those are important to me. Those mean something to me right there. Um, but it really means that I got to get rid of these. Because I got to make room for a shelf here eventually. And I, I got to start clearing out room uh, and that means going through these old cars, seeing if anything's worth money. And if it is, you know, try to sell it. So, I mean, I I got a lot of other ones. I got a Hot Wheels packet right here that's pretty old. Has lots of, you know, could be good, could be bad. Cars, and that door was coming off that one. There we go. This used to be filled up, and whenever I'd go somewhere, I'd always have it filled up with cars, and it broke a while back. Yeah, I had the Matchbox box filled up with Hot Wheels, because I'm a gangster like that. But yeah, I got cars out the yin-yang. It's ridiculous. And I gotta start clearing house eventually. <clears throat> There's more cars on my desk. Little things. Uh, this I saw in a set piece right here. It was worth like, um, I don't know how much. It was like, uh, in a set of four of those, it was like $9. So I mean, not very much, but you know, money adds up. Like I've said before. And I guess, you know, that could be taken here, too. So, I guess if I find any good cars that are worth a lot of money, I'll tell you guys about it. So, I guess I'll see you in the next video. Happy New Year again, though, guys. Bye-bye.